Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a Pinterest graphic on Canva. All you need to do is type www.canva.com into your browser and this is the main page. Now I have a whole bunch of pictures here that I've made and you might or might not have those. Now for me the Pinterest graphic is the first thing I use that the most often. If you don't see it up here under created design, click the more button and this will show you all the things that you can make on Canva. You can make a YouTube channel cover, you can make an Instagram post, you can make a Facebook post, you can make a blog graphic, you can scroll down and see all the hundreds of things that you can make. Basically, anything that's a graphic is here. Um, but today we're going to be making a Pinterest graphic. Also, my screen might look a little bit different than yours. I have a Canva for work that's the paid account, but the free Canva account works perfectly. So we clicked Pinterest graphic and this blank space came up. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you'll either type in an image here and use one of Canva's images. They have tons of free images. They also have lots of paid images. Um, and you can probably find anything you're looking for. Or you can upload your own picture. If you're a blogger, you're probably taking a lot of your own pictures. And when you click upload, then you would just click the green upload your own images and each of the images that you want will nicely fall into this box. Today I will just show you how I will make a graphic. So let's say I'm working on these cupcakes. So I've already imported my photo and I'm going to use these corner buttons that light up as soon as I touch them to stretch out the picture. We want to fill all of this white space. Um, Canva already has the measurements that you need, so you don't have to worry about what they are. But we're going to keep stretching this picture till there's no white space. Perfect. And Pinterest likes a really big graphic. Now, when you see your cursor is this little plus shape with arrows on the end, it will allow you to move your photo around. So now we've stretched it out to the right size. Now we can move it around. So we want it to just be right on the bottom looks like the cupcake is resting in the picture and that looks perfect to me. Now the next thing you're going to do is add some words. Nobody knows what kind of cupcake this is except me. So we're going to click text on the left side and we're going to add a heading. So we're going to click that one time and the add the heading box nicely comes into our graphic. So these cupcakes are tiramisu cupcakes. I'm going to type that in now. Obviously, this does not look good sticking the words right on top of the icing. So I'm going to click over to the side and then I'm going to move it up to the top because we want the words on the top. Perfect. Now I want to edit it. I don't like the font. I don't like the size. So I'm going to click on the words one time and this whole bar is going to come up. So the first thing we want to do is change the font. There are hundreds of fonts. Once you start using Canva, you'll get used to the fonts that you like. You'll see the ones you don't like. So you're just going to play around and see which fonts you like. So let's just quickly choose one and let's choose this one. Perfect. Then you want to play and check on the font sizes. So we know we want it bigger. Do we want it 48? Do we want it 64? Now once I went to 64, it turned it into two lines, which I like very much. Let's look at 96. 96 is too big. Let's try 88. I love it. So 88 is perfect. Now we can change the color of our words. We'll click on the little box. Now these are colors that I like to use, so they're automatically here. But let's say I want to use blue, but not quite that shade of blue. I'm going to click the plus, and it's going to give me a whole color wheel. Maybe I would like a darker blue, almost a black. Maybe a lighter blue. Maybe I actually want to do a sky blue. So I just grab this little dot inside the wheel, and I move it around. And you can see in the background how the colors of the words are changing. And you can see how that kind of looks with your picture. So let's just make it a nice sky blue. Okay, so click on to the side and you can see how it looks. Now, click on the side again and you can move this around. Let's say you wanted your words down here. For Pinterest, I usually like the words to be above um, the graphic. So this looks really good. I would say this is about ready to go. So then I, all I would have to do is click download and download and you will see that this cupcake is going to download right on the bottom of my screen 
and it's ready to go. I could also post it right to Facebook. I could tweet it. I could email it to somebody. All set. Now, let's say I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm going to do a new page, and obviously it's going to keep my cupcake there. So I just push delete. So let's try something new. Let's use um, one of Canva's pictures. Let's look up Donut. And you can see each graphic either is a dollar, and that will cost you a dollar for each graphic, or free. So this graphic is free, so I'm going to pop it in here. These lines will disappear once you've paid or download your graphic. This one is a free one. So I'm going to stretch my lines, and I'm going to move it up so I can see the donut. And let's say I was making this graphic for National Donut Day, or a diner that I'm opening. So one thing I might want to do is I might want to do a box like this. And there's tons of choices. You just have to scroll in here and see what you like. So let's say I'm going to put this. Now, we can't see our donut behind here. We want to make this a little bit more transparent. So all we have to do is make sure your graphic is highlighted. Click this transparency box. And as you see, as I move down, we can see the donut behind it. When it's not transparent, we can't see the donut. When it is transparent, we can see it. Okay, so let's leave it right there. Let's call this donuts. And let's change the font, the color to, sure, we'll do light blue again. And then we can move this around. We can put it down here. We can put it up here. We can put it anywhere we want. That's just something else you can do. So if you don't like it, just get rid of it throw it off to the side and it's gone. Um, one other thing you might want to do is make a watermark for your picture. I click this thing that says a little bit of body text. I'm going to type in my blog name and as you can see I can barely see it so let's make it maybe a little bit brighter. There we go. And all I have to do is drag it down to the corner and I forgot the dot com part. Don't mind me. There we go. And I can move it on this side. I can move it here. I can put it anywhere that I want. Then I would just download this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I have lots more to come. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.